Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you like this channel and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm going to be talking about the wonderful launch of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and glosses. I'm also going to be showing you Lisa's previous collection as well as the new collection. So this is going to be a little bit of a long video but I hope you appreciate all the sort of swatches that I'm going to do and the lip swatches that I'm going to show for each of the lipsticks. I am looking forward to this so much. I have a Lisa Eldridge video which shows off her summer collection which she released I think last year and that has the sort of lighter, I guess more sort of summery colours whereas these are more from her permanent collection because I know some of the colours she hasn't brought back for this new sort of restock and launch. So please enjoy the rest of the video. So the first thing I wanted to show you is I have Lisa Eldridge's previous collection. So this is what I bought from the previous collection and in this collection I managed to pick up three of her lipsticks which she originally launched. So the three original colours that she had was Velvet Morning, she had Velvet Jazz and she had Velvet Ribbon. So I'm going to be doing some quick swatches to show you what that looks like on my lips and I'll show you the swatches on my arms as well before moving on to her new collection with all the new colours. Just before I begin, I just wanted to tell you sort of how Lisa Eldridge lipsticks look. So this is the colour Velvet Morning and what's wonderful about her lipsticks is there's a magnetic closure which works like this. If you do get a chance, please take a look at my previous video which I'll leave in a link on this video so you can see her previous collection. So the first colour I'm going to do is Velvet Morning, plush matte velvet lip colour. I have actually used this already, so this is one of the colours that I picked up from her previous launch and I just wanted to show you what this looked like. A hot and fiery bright orange red inspired by waking up in a tropical place and seeing orange red sky on the horizon. I also love the Nancy Sinatra song Some Velvet Morning. This is the ultimate pick-me-up shade. This shade is an explosion of vitality that looks graphic and modern for parties. So this is Velvet Morning. As you can see, it's a really sort of bright orangey. It's an orangey red colour. The texture's really nice. It's matte, but it's not drying and it just gives a beautiful sort of uplift to my skin tone. I really, really like this. So this one is Velvet Morning will serve you well all year as it's the ultimate hot summer holiday shade too. So the next colour that I'm going to do is Velvet Ribbon. So this is a true velvet lip colour, so this is going to be more sort of glossy. This is what Velvet Ribbon looks like. A vibrant universal classic neutral blue red. This is the one classic pillar box red that every woman needs. I named it Velvet Ribbon because when I think of this shade, I always think of a velvet bow. So this is Velvet Ribbon and it's a really, really pretty colour as well. I love the texture of Lisa's lipstick. So I don't know if you can see, but there's sort of like a light, like a coating on it. And it's a really lovely coating and it just gives it a lovely texture, the lipstick. And as you can see, I don't really have that much on. I have foundation, I have, have a little bit of blush, a little bit of eyeshadow, and I did my brow and some mascara. So I've kept it really simple because I wanted to show you what the lipstick really looked like. And this one is Velvet Ribbon. This shade is a classic face brightening red that suits everyone, and it's a great tooth whitener. So the final colour from the three that I purchased in Lisa's last collection is Velvet Jazz. So Velvet Jazz is a true velvet lip colour and it's similar to the one I just tried on which was Velvet Ribbon. So the texture and everything will be the same. So you have Lisa's 
lovely gold packaging. You've got Lisa Eldridge logo at the end. And this one is in Velvet Jazz. So Velvet Jazz is a lot more deeper, lovely sort of rich color. I'm not afraid of color. I love different lipsticks and colors. So this kind of thing doesn't phase me. I don't traditionally have to wear one type of red. I quite like experimenting. And depending on my mood, I will wear a different red. So this is gorgeous. It's beautiful, such a beautiful color. Muted earthy brick red red inspired by the 1930s red lipsticks in my vintage collection. This shade is something of a chameleon and ranges from an intense brown red to a soft brick red depending on skin tone and method of application. It's an incredibly glamorous shade equally beautiful as a fully saturated wow lip as it is as a naturally flushed stain. So these are the three swatches of the three lips that I've just tried on. So you have Velvet Morning, Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Jazz. So those are the three swatches on my arm. So when I purchased this, I purchased this at the end of last year, I didn't get an opportunity to film any of these. So this is why I just wanted to show you what I got. I got the Lisa Eldridge box and you can see the red velvet bags in here. I don't know if you can see the color. It's absolutely stunning. There's three lipsticks in here from the previous collection and then there's three in the other one, I think. So one was called the New Velvet Collection, one was called the Blue Velvet Collection and one was called the True Red Velvet Collection. So the True Red Velvet Collection is the collection I've just shown you. Let's have a look at the next one. These are more from the Nude family. So I have Velvet Fawn, Velvet Muse and Velvet Decade. These are the three colours from Lisa's collection last time. Before I go on, um, I just wanted to show you the velvet pouch. So this one, the other one was black and this one is in red. And as you can see, it is absolutely stunning. There's so much attention to detail. There's even Lisa's logo when you pull the sort of um, zip as well, but it's absolutely stunning and it's velvet. So it's really, really nice. So I'm really, really excited now because this is now the sort of neutral palette. Whereas the one I showed you before was sort of like the reds and the true reds. So we're moving into the kind of natural neutral territory. So the first one is Velvet Fawn. So let's see how this looks on my skin tone. Pretty and delicate beige cafe shade inspired by the classic heavy natural 90s shade in Lisa's vintage makeup collection with the addition of skin lifting. Lively, cool and warm undertones to make it extra flattering. I potentially could get away without a liner, potentially, but it might need a liner, it might. It's given me a lovely sort of cool, sort of neutral vibe and it's quite fair, but it still works with my skin tone, surprisingly. Um, so we're moving on to Velvet Muse. A sensual smoky rosewood shade with the perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertones to make this shade super wearable across a wide variety of skin tones. This is really nice. I don't need a liner for this for sure. It's like my lips but better. So this is definitely my lip colour. So Velvet Muse is definitely my lip colour but better. If this were a perfume the top note would be rose, the heart notes would be cedar and saffron and the base notes would be musk and woods. So the final colour in this collection is Velvet Decade. Velvet Decade is really rich. Actually, when I go in closely, it actually has bits of brown in there. A divinely decadent burnt chocolate shade is lifted and made very wearable by its blue and lively red undertones, which stop it from being a flat brown. This colour is absolutely gorgeous as a light patted stain, as it's a perfectly your lips look better shade with an extra oomph. Full coverage, it's the most decadent and glamorously modern vintage shade. It definitely has a very sort of, I don't want to say gothic vibes, but it kind of makes me feel like if I was wearing like a leather jacket, I had sort of a vampy look going on, like I had smoky eyes and I wanted to look very sort of grungy, I suppose. This would look really, really lovely. It has that kind of look to it. It does have a 1920s look. It's kind of sort of reminiscent of sort of another decade. Really, really lovely inspired by hand-tinted sepia fashion portraits. So again, that was Velvet Fawn, that was Velvet Muse, and that was Velvet Decade. So this is more from the kind of natural neutral family. So 
This is the final collection from the previous launch. So this one is Velvet Myth, Velvet Beauty and Velvet Midnight. Yeah, it was just fun to have some colours that were a little bit out of my comfort zone. Let's have a look how these look on my skin tone. So again, these colours were from the True Velvet Lip Colour family. So all of them are True Velvet Lip Colours. So the first one I'm going to try is Velvet Beauty. This one is just a little bit more richer than the ones that I've been trying before. So we're going into sort of more richer territory. Definitely more sort of pinky toned. A new wave vibrant rose pink light shade. The perfect tone for celluloid ingenue everywhere. Blue undertones lend it a fresh innocence Think of Jean Seberg in a Boo de Souffle. This is the lip colour she might have worn. Really pretty. Very, very nice. Like it. It's, it's kind of sweet. It's got a really sweet look to it. So we go on to the next one. The next one is Velvet Myth. So this one is definitely more like a plummy colour. A widely vivid mulberry shade inspired by a vintage kimono Lisa bought on her first trip to Japan. This shade has notes of red and blue and is particularly good for brightening the face and whitening the teeth. Very cute. So this is Velvet Myth. So the final colour in this sort of set is Velvet Midnight. So this one is really, really dark. Again, reminds me of that kind of 1920s vibe. I'm sure Lisa had her reasons. It's going to look really interesting. I'm quite intrigued by this. So this one is Velvet Midnight. For the classic vamp in every woman, a devastating darkest shade, a true plush blackberry hue, redolent of the crepuscular beauty aesthetic of silent movie actress Faye Dabara, who is one of my favourite makeup muses. Kind of moody, <laughs> really sort of rich, really rich and moody. This one is Velvet Midnight. Okay, so these are the arm swatches for the three that I've just tried. So that's Velvet Beauty, Velvet Myth, and Velvet Midnight. Okay, so we finally move on to the new stuff, and hopefully you've watched the rest of the video. If not, hello, this is the second part of my video. And I just wanted to show you the box that it came in. So you've got the Lisa Eldridge box which is the same as the one I got last year. And then inside, this is beautiful. So these are the things I bought from the collection this time round. So I don't know if you can see, but one is green, one is blue, and then you've got the lovely limited edition ones that she's done. So there are some lip stickers there from Lisa. This is the packaging and it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So this is the one that's special limited edition packaging. So I bought two sets. I bought the, so this one is the Velvet Mew set. So it comes with the lipstick, which I showed you already. So I won't be showing you that again. And then you've got the Velvet Muse lip gloss, which I'll show you. And then the lip pencil. So the thing with Elisa's website, and it was such a shame, was that I felt that I wish I could have ordered some of the lip liners to go with some of the lipsticks I already had from last year. But unfortunately you couldn't buy the lip liners separately. So you had to buy as a set to get the lip liner. So I thought of getting Velvet Muse because it was my lips but better. And I thought it would be nice to get that as a kind of backup with the lip liner. And I think I could probably use this lip liner with Fawn and maybe the other sort of more neutral color that I have. So this actually would, would work really well. So I thought we could try today. I will show you the lip glosses and I'll show you the lip liners as well. So that is one set. And then the other set is here. So this set is a new set so this is a color that I don't have and this set is in velvet blush so what we will do today is I will show you velvet blush as a gloss which is in here as a lipstick and as a liner so that will be the full sort of thing that I will show you so that is the other set I bought. And
And then I bought some of the new lipsticks, but in the sort of new velvet pouches, that the colours that she had. So she had it in green and she had it in blue. And what was really nice on her site was that you could pick the colours you wanted. You could kind of customise it to suit the lip sticks that you wanted so I went in and I purchased the three new colors so velvet dragon I've got here velvet carnival um, which is again a new color and I purchased velvet affair which is another new color so these are the three new lip colors in here is I bought three glosses in the blue one which I'll show you in a minute which are all her new lip glosses and then this one didn't fit so this is beauty which is one of the glosses I bought so I will show you what is in the blue velvet bag. So these are the glosses. So again, I picked the three glosses that I didn't have, which were all brand new. Ribbon as a gloss and Go Lightly as a gloss and Myth as a gloss. Okay, so the first gloss I'm going to do is Go Lightly. Now, if you've seen my previous video, I've already done a video on these, this collection that came out with all her summer lipsticks. This is just gonna be me using Go Lightly just to show you what it looks like as a gloss. So you get this lovely gloss. It's really, really chunky and big and you get a lot for it. It says 24 months, I think, shelf life. And it says 4.5 mil of product. So that is the lip gloss go lightly. An insanely pretty salmon pink coral shade. You know I really need this because I've been doing a lot of lip swatches for you guys so this feels so good. It feels really like, has a kind of taste. I want to say vanilla but it's not. I really like this one. It's kind of like a really lovely fresh gloss and Oh God, it feels so good on my lips because my lips are a little bit like, because I've done so many swatches today. So this feels really, really lovely. So this is Go Lightly. Inspired by one of the shades in Lisa's vintage collection, redolent of early 1960s Hollywood. The addition of subtle modern pink and golden pearls make this shade truly wearable and flattering for all. And so the next color I'm going to do is Beauty. So this is a bit more richer and you remember the pink that I did earlier. So it definitely is that color. So let's see how that looks. A new wave, vibrant rose pink, the perfect tone for celluloid ingenues everywhere. Blue undertones lend it a fresh innocence. Think of Jean Seberg in a bout de souffle. This is a lip color she might have worn. And the next colour I'm going to do is Muse, so let's see how this looks. An immaculate smoky rosewood, the classic neutral pinky brown shade every woman should have in her collection. If this were a perfume, the top note would be rose, the heart notes would be cedar and saffron, and the base notes would be woods and musk. And I'm going to move on to the next colour now, which is Blush. An archetypal cool toned pink berry inspired by the flush painterly hues of Rococo artists such as Watteau, Fragonard and Boucher. It doesn't get much prettier or more intensely feminine than this. This is Muse. So the next colour is Myth. So Myth is this one. A widely vivid mulberry tone. Lips are stained as though with the juice of bright ripe berries. Blue and red undertones brighten the entire face, not to mention the teeth. This shade has such a vivacious energy to it. And the final colour is going to be Ribbon. So this is a Ribbon. A bold universal red with a hint of blue. This is the one classic pillar box red that every woman needs. I called it Ribbon because when I think of this shade, I always think of a velvet bow. Okay, so now we move on to the new lipsticks. Velvet Carnival, Velvet Dragon, Velvet Affair. So let's do those three 
first and then I think we will try the fourth one which is I think Velvet Blush as well and I think that is all the lipsticks then. We can look at the lip pencils from the collection with a little bit of the gloss. So again all these three lipsticks are true velvet lip colours so they are all going to be moisturising. So let's start off with the first colour, this is Velvet Affair. An earthy, soft, caramel brown with easygoing, cool girl vibes. This wonderful, sticky toffee shade has neutral, warm, golden undertones. Really lovely, I like this colour. So the next colour is Velvet Dragon and I really like this, this is really nice. And I think Lisa mentioned that this has been inspired by sort of Chinese lanterns. A muted burnt soft rusty red with warm yellow undertones. Inspiration for this shade comes from cinnabar, a pigment that has been used for ancient lacquering of ornaments and jewellery for thousands of years. Oh that's pretty. Okay, so the last lipstick in this set of three is Velvet Carnival. So this is a pinkish colour. A pop art pink that wears its party girl heart on its sleeve. A Warhol electric pink screen print hue with blue undertones. That's quintessentially contemporary and modern. This is an acid fuchsia with attitude. So these are the three new colours. There's Velvet Affair, Velvet Dragon and Velvet Carnival. All really lovely wearable colours. So I thought I would use the new Lisa Eldridge Enhanced Antifine Lip Pencil in blush and I was going to put the liner on and then I was going to put the lipstick on to show you what that looked like just as it was part of the collection. So let's look at the pencil. So the pencil has the colour at the tip which is lovely. This is the first time I've seen it, so this is lovely. And then you've got a gold cap. I think you need to just pull it a little bit. So you've got the lip pencil just there. That's a nice lip pencil. Feels really nice on. So I've just got the lip pencil on and I think this lip pencil should go with a lot of other colours too. Um, so now I'm just going to put on the new lip colour which is Velvet Blush. So let's have a look at that together. So this is the new colour, so this is Velvet Blush. Oh, that's a nice colour. So this is the liner with the lipstick. And then what I'm going to do is just add the blush gloss on, on top of this. And it gives it a really lovely finish. The colour Velvet Blush is also a true velvet lip colour, so very moisturising. And with the gloss it just adds something extra, so really, really nice. So this is Velvet Blush as a swatch. Really, really lovely. So finally, we're just gonna look at the Muse set. I'm just gonna line my lips with Muse. So again, you've got the color at the tip, the gold top, and that is the color Muse. So that's the lip pencil. I'm going to take the lipstick Velvet Muse. Having the lip liner definitely gives it a bit more definition. But that's really nice. I've got Velvet Muse on now. And then I'm going to add Muse, the lip gloss. So this is the lip liner with Velvet Muse. And then finally, I'm just going to add Muse on top of that. So definitely my lips, but better. Collection. So basically that is everything. Everything I have from Lisa Eldridge is in a video form for you now. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get 
all of the lipsticks but I thought what a better time to put it all in one video and let you see the whole entire collection as one. This is the final look with the other sort of set that I bought and I love it. I love this look. I love the fact that my lips look so moisturized and having the lip gloss just adds that extra something. What can I say? I am in awe of this collection. Lisa has really thought about what colors work, how they work against different skin tones, these new colors that she's introduced. So the Velvet Carnival, the Velvet Dragon, Velvet Affair, Blush. I love those four colors. I think they are stunning, the new colors she's brought out. I didn't think she could top Velvet Muse, but seeing Velvet Affair, it just has that extra depth and I really love that. Velvet Dragon is stunning. It reminds me of Velvet Morning, but kind of a bit more richer. It's really beautiful. The glosses are beautiful. They feel so moisturizing on my lips. I love the glosses. And as you saw, they all look very different. Some of them are a bit more pigmented than others. You can wear them on their own or on top of lipstick. So my final verdict is go out and pick one and choose what suits you. I hope that all these swatches, all these lip swatches have helped you to decide which ones would suit you. I'm a bit of a, as you know, crazy person when it comes to makeup. So I've bought the entire collection. However, that was from last year and when she first released. So bear in mind that I had collected this over time. I didn't buy everything in one go. I just added to the collection this time. So I bought the four new lip colors. I bought all the glosses and I bought two of the sort of ones with the lip liners just to see what the lip liners were like. The lip liners are really nice. I think they add some definition. They are really, really pretty. So you're not gonna be disappointed with the lip liners. Really, it just helps to complete the look. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed my video. I know it's been a bit long. I've kind of gone into the night. It's a little bit dark now outside. But the reason I wanted to get this up for you is because I know a lot of people are dying to see this. So if you like this video, please leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What colors are you going to pick out? What colors did you like on my lips? I'd love to hear because obviously it's really hard when you're wearing a lipstick or wearing makeup in general. And it's just great to get that feedback from people just to tell me kind of what works and what, what doesn't against my skin tone. I'm open to all lipsticks. I love all lipsticks. And I think there is a, I suppose there's always a time and a place for a, a lipstick. And I don't particularly feel like, you know, that you can't wear any particular color. So I love different colors and I love all different lipsticks. So for me, it's always an exploration. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.